Hi everyone, this is Ben the Artist, the author of this prehistoric creature cartoon series that I've been introducing lately. So this is actually a uh, sequel of that part one, and in this video I'm going to introduce some more recent drawings, some more prehistoric, fascinating, remarkable creatures that people tend to forget, but uh, we shouldn't. Even though they're extinct, they are remarkable natural gods creation so in a sense that I try to bring them back in life again using my uh, skills as an artist so uh, here we go okay as you guys can see uh, I'm gonna just go one by one this is ten more uh, drawings that I did this one is Dita Curious. Dita Curious is like um, like an armadillo only in the size of a car that once roamed around South America. This is uh, Mutabarasaurus. It's a really funny name, right? Uh, Mutabara is actually the town of uh, Australia, Australia where they found this uh, dinosaur. And the remarkable thing about this creature, this dinosaur, is that it's got this, this uh, fiber-like bubble nose that when it starts to roar or um, sing or whatever it starts to blow up into this sort of like bubbles and in this scene as you can tell that uh, he's just really enjoying himself as being the soprano oh, another thing I want to add that uh, in terms of draw doing my drawings is that I tend to think that one very important key is actually um, to give each individual one of these uh, uh, animals uh, 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 idiosyncratic characters that a personality like in this one you know it seems like he's very enjoying himself and this one he's sort of just like shy everything and that is very important to uh, keep in mind for all your uh, artists uh, want to be or our students is that you want you want to make every single one of them stands out by giving them a personality because that's very important. All right, this one is Mirotherium. Mirotherium is a uh, is actually a kind of creature that looks sort of like hippos or pigs or um, elephants, about the size of a, a hippo or rhinoceros. But th this kind is uh, it is actually belonging to its own uh, class, genus, and species, and ultimately died out. Like this one, he's looking plain stupid and dull, and but it's still quite funny though. All right, this one is uh, hyena dawn. Hyena dawn is actually um, a ferocious predator that you can actually see that he's mean. He's chasing. Uh, actually, hyena dawn, even though given the name hyena, it has nothing to do with today's uh, contemporary hyenas. Just a ferocious carnivorous motherfucker that just roam around. You don't want to come across with one of these. Now this one is uh, Dinophilus. Dinophilus is actually uh, another carnivorous um, mammal that actually used to hunt around a lot of our early ancestors like the, like the Australopithecus. But this one, I'm giving him a sort of character is just like he's being scared away by, by those uh, Australopithecus that learn to gang up and how to scare away this uh, predator basically just bluffing bluffing away so he's actually quite a successful hunter just hunting those uh, lone prey such as uh, our early ancestor who are not on the top of food chains but they're being hunted but they actually start to learn to um, gang up <laughs> and that's why people gang up right form gangsters and actually you can scare away dino felix at this point he's just he's just uh looking a little bit down all right this one is uh macachinia macachinia is uh also another deer like uh animal that roam around south america about uh about tens of millions of years ago and they're quite large they actually uh, about the size of uh camels about the size of camels and um, I'm just giving him a character that he looks kind of arrogant you know okay this one is called uh, Megatherium Megatherium is also a large creature back then Mega means big large Therium means beast 
Megatheria. Actually, some of its fossils was uh, once discovered by Darwin when he was in South America and Galapagos Island. All right, this is uh, Diplodocus, a very large um, dinosaurs actually. And over here, I'm actually not finished yet. Uh, I'm actually want to do a dumb beetles over here, and that is it's done. Imagine these type of creature roam around uh, on the steps and uh, those type of terrains. It, it, it produces about uh, one point one and a half ton of feces every day. So these dumb beetle actually had a big and uh, monumental task to clean up all the duns. They actually been doing that for uh, hundreds of million years and today they're collecting uh, elephant duns and all the other creatures, large creatures duns. Alright, this one's Allosaurus. Allosaurus, as you well know, probably a, quite a famous uh, dinosaur. But he's just looking not that happy. A ferocious carnivore uh, dinosaur. And this is uh, Polycanthus. A Polycanthus is actually a herbivore. Well, one unique feature about these herbivores, even though they got these, uh, these, these, uh, redoubtable, ferocious-looking uh, spikes like, uh, like Stegosaurus, but actually these are all very tamed uh, uh, herbivores. They use these type of stuff actually to just to uh, protect themselves. All right, here I'm going to show you some uh, the the finished results of these uh, these works that. Um, that in part one of the video I actually just started and this just to show you the end results this is uh... this is Ramphorhynchus as you can tell I did all of them by um, I did all of them by color pencil and pen look he's just really happy that he caught a fish in the water Ramphorhynchus this is the end results all by color pencil and pen if you recall this is uh... This is Eustreptospondylus, if, if you recall in part one, that I'm just saying that he looks really sexy with the um, curvatures. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys agree with me, but I really think he's sexy with those curvatures. Curvatures, huh? Postosuchus, remember? Another uh, ferocious early dinosaurs during the Triassic period, actually. That's a couple hundred million years ago. Alright, this is Ophthalmosaurus during the uh, uh, Jurassic period. That is the heydays of uh, dinosaurs. If you guys remember the, in part one, it's, it's only a uh, line, uh, black and white, and this is all finished. Ophthalmosaurus. This is a uh, Cryptoclitus. If you remember, he's got a graceful uh, swimming style. Sort of like dancing in the water. This is Laoplorodon, you know, another large uh, marine dinosaurs. Platyosaurus, as you can tell, Platyosaurus. Alright, this is the Cynodont, you know, remember that's the missing link between reptile and uh, mammals. These guys are mon monotreme, which means that they lay eggs, but they suck all their uh, young, sort of like uh, platypus of today. Alright, this is uh, Placerius. Placerius, as you remember, this is also a very ancient creature. That's actually more ancient than dinosaurs. But they kind of uh, went extinct after the dinosaur took over the world in the uh, Triassic period. Remember, it's, uh, it's Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. By the end of Cretaceous, all dinosaurs died out because of that asteroid impact. This is uh, Coelophysis. Remember Coelophysis? Another ferocious creature. This Smilodon, colloquially known as the saber-toothed cat. Very famous one. Well, anyway, this is about it for uh, this is about it for uh, this series. I hope you really enjoy. I'll introduce more next time. I have more to come. Okay, bye.